Okay, so here is a video that I've been kind of threatening to do for quite a long time. And it is about a very simple subject. It's about chiclet slices. And it's about why I do think that chiclet slices are pretty much the only um, custom visualization you're going to need in your reports. A lot of people use custom visualizations. I don't. I don't like using them. Each to their own. Completely. Do what makes you happy. But I'm here making this video to um, fight the case for the chiclet slicer. And I'll show you why. Here, on this report, it is basically something that I made for my daughter. So there's no serious data. She's seven, she was asking about the planets. So I thought it'd be fun to do this. But what we have is a report with slices. So important to say from the start, the slices um, that are native to Power BI with the sliders, these numerical values, they're cool. Um, I like using them a lot when appropriate. Um, so it's not really about that. I'm not comparing them to the sliders. It's just a really click button slices that I feel aren't um, really um, so flexible uh, within Power BI with the way they can look. And the chiclet slicer solves all that. Um, these, he, these two things here, that's a chiclet slicer. Um, maybe not set up perfectly because it kind of goes too dark. But the fact is you can do that. You can make that change. Um, here, when I hover over a planet, you're going to see it's going to pop up with um, a picture. The picture um, is a chiclet slicer. Also very good for displaying images. I like it a lot how it works. And we'll get at that very, very soon. Um, but let's start here with this planets um, or dwarf. Basically, I'm clicking on planets because I want to get rid of the dwarf because Pluto is no longer a planet. Um, so what you can do in the chiclet slicer, which I think is fantastic, is you can just change a lot of stuff. If you go to the chiclet, chiclet option, you have complete control over the height of each chiclet, and the width of each chiclet, the text size. And what I really like is the, um, the, the unselected color and the selected color. And that sometimes makes a big difference in your reports because you want to, especially when it comes to only using a certain amount of colors or making certain things stand out. Um, it's, it's this, it's a really, really simple thing, but it's for me, very, very important thing or very helpful, at least I should say. Um, unselected color. So at this point we have um, dwarf, which I believe is the unselected color. So if I change this and make it something nice and ob obnoxious, like that yellow, it yellow. Um, I wouldn't choose that. I'm trying to highlight a point. The outline color, you can change that again. So yeah, okay, now I've got this nice purpley type outline with this. Again, this is not too huge a thing. Again, helpful that it is there. Um, but again, you can really make this thing stand out and you can say, and what I've done in this case, I want to make them dark so they kind of fit in with the, the space part of the report. Um, so whatever style you're building your report in, the chiclet slicer can be adapted very easily to fit that style. Um, so if we say, just move this down a little bit, get out of my way. If we were to say, um, create this slicer, but this time I'm not gonna create it with a chiclet slicer, I'm gonna make it a standard um, Power BI slicer. So unselect, so I have both, and then I'm going to choose this standard slicer. So what I've got here is again, a fairly nice button. Um, the very standard ones look like that. So planets dwarf, and you can change, of course, the text color by the items, um, your font color like this. Um, you can change the background color to whatever you want it to be, um, which is tremendously ugly. I don't like that feature at all. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that's a very standard slicer. And of course, when your head is switched on, you can change that to uh, a drop down, so it looks like this. I really try to avoid using drop down slicers because I don't like two clicks to achieve something that you can achieve with one. 
obviously, if you have a huge list, it kind of has to be a drop down slicer. I get it. But if possible, and it fits in and doesn't look tremendously fugly, then I'll definitely put in a one click. Again, this may be why I kind of favor the chiclet slicer. Um, yeah, so if I just bring this back to our list, and then I go back to how it looked when we originally um, created this with the horizontal. Now the horizontal, like I said before, looks like that, yeah? So you say um, you can have responsive or not responsive. Basically the difference is gonna be when it's unresponsive, it just does that. So it kind of hides. And when it's responsive, it moves itself to um, look a bit better. Now you can do, okay, um, your selection controls are very standard. Um, header on or off, for the time being I'll switch it off. And then here you have your background color. So and this is why it's black, because I chose black background. And if I select that one, it's gonna go that color. This is kind of what frustrates me. Um, it's this kind of inability to control more precisely how these look. And it's two things. It's um, it's the color thing. As you can see, the chiclet slicer, you can choose really precisely how it looks when um, it is selected or unselected. You can control, control really precisely the width of your um, of your chiclets. So say, okay, I don't want to be 180. I just want it to be, I don't know, let's pick a different number, uh, 120. And I don't know, it's, it's always kind of been this way um, with these um, Power BI standard slices that you just can't do that. And I think that's just kind of really annoying. Slices for me are a really important part of building a report. I know people say, oh, you have filters, you have the filter pane, I get it. Different people do things different ways. I prefer using slices. Um, for me, a filter pane is a completely different functionality. Um, slices are important and will remain important. So for that reason alone, the chiclet slicer just like completely knocks the um, standard slicer out of the water. It has its drawbacks in the fact that it's a, it's a, a custom visualization. So sometimes, yes, it can be, um, it can basically, when you're clicking and dragging, it can be sticky, you know, this like concept of the sticky slicer. Um, but, but really it's, it's, it's a small, small thing that you have, um, or a small drawback, you should say, for all the benefit that it brings to your reports. Um, the fact that it can blend in very, very seamlessly. It can't be a drop down like you can with a standard slicer, like you saw before, you had the drop down of the list. It can't be drop down. It's only, I mean, it's a chiclet. That's what they are. So you can't have it like a drop down chiclet. So that could potentially be cool. Um, so this alone for me is is why I'm always going to be going for the chiclet. You know, you change the shape from cut to rounded to to square, whatever. Um, so for that functionality is for me enough. It has the added functionality that it works really well when you want to display images as well. Now, again, I know you can display images on a standard slicer. Um, so maybe if you just have a quick look at that now, um, how I did it here in the tooltip was, um, I'll just copy and paste that to a new page. Nope. So that is how I displayed it um, in the tooltip. It's just like this. So what you can do is, as you can see, you have a category and you have an image. Now for me, I just chose category pick because I didn't want to, um, to display any category. But if you wanted, for example, to say, okay, I wanted to have a name as well of the planet, you would just bring the category label in there and on your formats, you could just go to, um, I believe it's here. Or is it not? Am I wrong? General, I've lost it. Images, sorry, it's in images. And you can choose the percentage split. So now we're on 
100% to the image. So if I then choose that to 70, then you're going to see you're going to bring in the name of the planet as well, which is really cool. It looks very nice. Um, yeah. And we also currently have this um, sorted. So um, I always get horizontally and vertically mixed up. Mixed up. It's so ridiculous. Um, vertically. <laughs> then if you want to, you can say, okay, I don't want a vertical, I want it horizontal, whatever. It's not a huge thing. But what I do like is that though you can, of course, sort a column by a, a different value. So as you're all aware, I'm quite sure you go to your planet and you can say sort by a column like that. So currently, as I say, it looks like it's sorted by the distance from the sun. May Vicky eat my jelly said Uncle Ned politely. Yes. But we can say without actually changing this formatting within the column itself that we just looked at, we can say sort it by something completely different and we can sort it by mass, for example. So we just drag the value mass like that and um, not count or the sum because that would be weird. Um, then we here go here and sort by sum of mass, and then that's going to change it sort by mass. Um, well, that looks correct. Yeah. So again, that first still, and I understand this is again displaying an image, and it's not what everyone thinks of when they first think of um, a chiclet slicer. So everything I've just done there, of course, can also be done if you don't have the image. So. If you say, okay, great, check the slices, they can show images. I don't care, Ben. I don't put images in my reports and I'm never going to. Fine. I understand. I really very rarely, rarely do it myself. And um, it's just for like, fun reports like this or when I'm displaying something that the visual kind of, I mean, improves the data. Um, so, but even in this case, if we say, okay, I, I don't want a picture, we still have the ability to have a nice slicer sorted by exactly what we wanted um, to be to be sorted by and the ability to really ourselves define the width and the height of each one of the slices. Um, here also you can see when I hover over the text it kind of goes too dark so I can also change that as well and say so hover color let's make it something like um, or Nice and yellow. Oops, excuse me. Did it wrong. Excuse me. Yeah. Small things, you know, but they help and it's cool. And you definitely can't do that with a standard slicer. Excuse me. This slammed my desk there because I was so into it. Um, you definitely can't do that with a standard slicer. And um, yeah, there are for me. Maybe not a must in your reports, but if you really haven't seen them before and you haven't really considered any, um, yeah, custom visualizations, I would strongly suggest the chiclet slicer because it, um, yeah, it's, it's really going to, um, help you add a little bit something to your report and, um, maybe, um, make the user understand what they're selecting a bit more when you, because you can define the colors. Um, and, and, and again, you have the, the all, all of your standard options. You have your header, you can switch on and off with, with this as well. You can change the header and um, change the, so this is very standard header stuff, you know, in your general, you can, you can, again, you can define how many columns and how many rows. I forgot about that. It's pretty cool. Um, so now I've got to three columns and zero rows. So if I were to go, okay, I want to see only like, I don't know, I don't know what's going to do. If I just type stuff in here, um, then for example, there I've said five columns, one rows, obviously hasn't worked that well because of the size of the slices themselves. You've got to take these things into account. Um, but you can do a lot more, um, show disabled. So there's loads of options that you should, uh, that you can check out with the, the checklist slicer. And that's why I'm here advocating it. I'm not going to talk much more about it because there's not a lot more to say. Um, but yes, I hope this 
helped and I hope it maybe makes you think about clicking on this little button here, get more visuals, and then going to this store. I'm not signed in, so I can't do it. <laughs> and then getting the chiclet slicer. Um, yeah, thank you very much and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.